Every person is unique. Why should they learn in the same way then? As each student has different education and cultural backgrounds, strengths, weaknesses, and learning habits, I believe the education they receive should be customized to fit their individual needs. I combine EDI, which stands for Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, and Evaluation, with design thinking in curriculum and course design to allow myself to empathize how students will learn a particular topic, to define what is the desired learning outcomes would be, and to design and develop the constructively aligned learning activities. By introducing different learning approaches, such as animation and personification, students can choose a way of learning that better suits their learning process. When they ask questions, they'll show their pathway of thoughts, which can then be followed up by personalized teaching. Since their feedback are very important in showing their learning behaviors, I constantly encourage students to ask questions and participation inside and outside the classroom. I always tell my students that there are no stupid questions, only stupid answers, so the burden is on me. Once they see that even the simplest question would not be brushed away, they will gradually ask more questions and in turn pay more attention to others' questions. My goal is to set up a learning target in the course, then walk along with the students to help them reach that target instead of giving them plain instructions. Dr. Ho always emphasized on the importance of having a solid foundation, so he will design and give us a lot of uh, optional exercise so we can practice on it. This valuable material will help me in advanced quarters and when I have encountered a new design in sampling modulation and some advanced digital circuits. Dr. O also has designed a rather comprehensive laboratory session so we may practice on using the instruments and understanding more on the natures of electrical components. Due to that, I have much more chance to practice in the laboratories. And in the advanced courses, I need to reuse this kind of knowledge to uh, locate the faulty component quickly. And it will be help me to design the digital circuit more uh, fluently. This helped me a lot in my future study. Different courses with different learning outcomes warrant different learning activities. To provoke deep learning in students, those activities should be aligned to the learning objective constructively. For example, in my product design course, in order to allow students to appreciate the vision of a product and empathize how it's being used, peer critiques and group-based role-playing activities are incorporated. In an engineering ethics course, to enable students to reflect and construct their findings, they are asked to conduct interviews with industrial partners and report back to the students. In a problem-solving course, I noticed that students were struggling to understand the underlying concept of hardware components, mainly due to their lack of experience in software development. As a result, I developed a platform to allow students to control the hardware with minimal programming knowledge. The modules have been redesigned so that the students can use graphical interface to design their action flow instead of wrestling through the maze of the unfamiliar programming languages. Through formal evaluation and informal student feedback, all of these implemented activities have proven to be effective in achieving their respective learning outcomes. The result will certainly be different if these activities are replaced by bland, unidirectional lecture type instructions. In his course, he creates an inclusive, accepting, and uh, welcoming learning environment for all students. Students are encouraged to ask questions and form their own study groups. Besides, the menu for conducting lab is very appropriate and considerate. Students can explore knowledge as if they were immersed in the ocean of a small research project. Uh, the explicit rationale in the menu is explained to tell students the relevance of our labs or to future professional life. His course helps students to not only attain knowledge but also to boost a successful career in engineering. As an educator, I aim at challenging myself to bring out the full potential of each and every one of the students. I'm honored to be considered for the UGC Teaching Award. Thank you.